Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do a few examples based upon what we've learned so far. Starting out with something fairly easy, finding the reaction rate. Now, what if we have this equation right here? We have uh, nitrogen monoxide and chlorine gas forming what we call nitrosyl chloride. Strange name, but that's what it is, NOCl. They're all gases. Now, what if the rate of consumption of the chlorine gas is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per second? What will be the rate of formation of nitrosyl chloride? Well, in this case, the coefficients in front do matter because if this was in molar quantities, we need 2 moles of nitrogen oxide gas and 1 mole of chlorine gas to form 2 moles of nitrosyl chloride. And so it's a 2 to 1 ratio. For every 1 mole consumed of chloride gas, chlorine gas, we will, use, uh, we will produce 2 moles of nitrosyl chloride. So therefore, that means that the rate of production will be twice the rate of consumption. And so therefore, we can say that the rate of formation, NOCl, is equal to 2 to 1, because it's 2 to 1, this is a 1 up front here, 2 to 1 times the rate for the consumption of chlorine gas, which would be 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per second. And so therefore we can say this is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per second. So we saw in the previous videos that the coefficients here in front do not have a lot to do with the order of, of the reaction. They don't have a lot to do with the um, reaction rate uh, constant K, but it does still play a role when we try to figure out how much we're consuming on the reactants and how much we're producing on the products. So there we still use the straightforward equation. Make sure this is balanced before I uh, stop here. So we have two nitrogens, we have two chlorines, we have two oxygens, and two oxygens, so it's balanced, and that is the answer to that particular example. So that was easy. We have some more that are a little bit more complicated coming up.